So, everything is still on fire, huh? Alright kids, let me start this one out by telling you what this video isn't. Heavily scripted, practiced, edited, much, or thought out. The only parts of this I wrote came about while alternating between being on a bus while I'm constantly late or lying awake at 3am in existential dread. That is to say, this video is not one of the ones I actually had planned and that I am working on slowly. Uh, and basically I'm just throwing out my guttural reactions to the ether. Still, I'll cut out any dead air or obvious fuck up so it's still listenable. I'm also going to edit in my stills because I wouldn't deny you the joy of a visual, but that's about the extent of the production we're gonna get on this one. Now that I've properly made my excuses about my unprofessionalism, let's have a chat. You and me. You being the voices in my head I'm pretending is an audience. Are you sad? I'm sad. And angry, and confused, and generally nervous, and a bit of a wreck. That's a good description for the art commentary community this past year, don't you think? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cover some basic points. Uh, apologies, responsibility, integrity, trust, parasocial relationships if we have time, just that sort of thing. Even though I am speaking a little bit off the cuff, I'm going to be trying to avoid talking shit about anyone in specific. I might be a bit salty with some creators, but we're not here to call anyone out. All right, first, let's talk about apologies and how no one seems to even know what those fucking things are on this cursed hell site anymore. Let me just interject real quick, I'm sorry that my tone is extraordinarily harsh. This is what happens when Mal doesn't have time to sit down and drink her goddamn tea. This is where the crops get burnt and the wives get taken. Just so you're aware. I also just want to add a little warning about the wives joke that we have here on the Mally channel. Uh, some of you have made some really funny comments about the wife fucking disclaimer and I do love them, but YouTube will auto delete comments it doesn't like and I have seen too many funny comments lost to the wind just because YouTube wouldn't allow it. Even my own reply to someone on one of my own videos was auto deleted because I referenced the fucking wives joke. So please censor yourselves so you can all keep being funny. Just say romance your wife in the comments instead so everyone can see you being funny. All right, anyway, back back on topic. Also, this video is so demonetized. Ah. <laughs> we're not even trying for monetization, baby. We're, we're going balls to <laughs> Oh, this is why we need scripts. Okay, back on topic, back on topic. I'll be referring to the recent mini drama on Twitter between Kai Weiss and Sen for this section, uh, not because their conflict is particularly unusual, but because I think it exemplifies people, creators specifically, inability to just take responsibilities for their mistake and the weird fixation that they have with justifying the mistakes so that they seem less like a mistake in the first place. I have run that word into the ground, I am sorry. So for context, Sen is a drama streaming channel. Uh, he's all around not a very pleasant creator and he was minorly involved in the Peaches drama, having larger creators on his streams to talk about it and such. And these streams are a point of contention with people now because he's been highlighted as saying some pretty racist things on main, not even hiding it. And then when you look back into his streams, he has... <sighs> I don't censor the fucking wives joke, but I'll I'll dance around what he has to say about Creepshow Art, which, yes, I'm sure that name probably sent off a few alarm bells, but we'll get to it later. Anyway, the point is, his streams are just very unpleasant to sit through, I don't recommend them. While Kai Weiss was a bigger part of the Peaches drama, who was linked to Luke's bad behaviour in that specific drama just by association and promoting his content. Now, a couple of you have probably picked up on the common thread here. Association. So here's where things get a little bit icky. Without recapping the entire drama, the short version of the story is that those associated with Sen by participating in his streams and those associated with Luke by promoting him and or his videos all got blasted by the opposite party for endorsing a bad faith creator. Which is a can of worms in and of itself, but for us today it's just context. Let's, let's push on through it. So both parties got in trouble with what was essentially guilt by association. We're not comparing the severity of Sen and Luke here, by the way. They aren't important, they're just sort of the prompt for all of this. And both parties then went on to make more or less the same argument in their defense. That they either didn't know the extent of wrongdoings, or that they couldn't be damned simply by associating with another creator. That because they were friendly or collaborated before didn't mean that they endorsed their actions. Which, on the face of it, that's all fair enough. That's perfectly fine, I get that. Except... 
the justifications and downplaying and hypocrisy of it all. Holy shit, both parties, and I am, I am avoiding naming specific creators when I refer to both parties because I do actually think most of the people involved here are good creators, they're just getting bogged down in some petty, stupid shit. So I'm not making a call out on any of them specifically. So, both parties were damning the other for what was more or less the same crime of association and then being confused that they were called out on the same thing. It would be comical if it weren't so frustrating. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to summarise it with my original thoughts on the matter. Step back because your bitch is about to come bow blacks up in here reading her own goddamn tweets. She can find her damn tweets. I like tweet once every three years, I, this shouldn't be hard to find. Mal and being bad at technology strikes again. I am going to read these verbatim, so if you have read my tweets, this is your audiobook version, strap in. <laughs> now let me be clear, guilt by association is generally trash. That said, I think it's reasonable to expect some level of responsibility from creators, and I am sick of seeing both the double standard and creators dodging responsibility. For Luke, being associated with him in no way means that these creators agree with everything he's ever done or said. However, when he does abhorrent shit in a situation that you are a part of, where you've supported his videos, creators cannot be shocked when people make that obvious connection. As for Sen, being on his stream doesn't inherently mean you endorse him and everything that he does. It doesn't even mean that you know everything he's ever done or said. However, as a content creator, it is your own negligence for not so much as glancing at someone's content before joining them on a stream to discuss drama much less not disavowing it the moment that you are informed. I normally would give these things a little bit more of a pass as sometimes you just don't see the horrible behavior of someone until after you've worked with them. But for both Prismate Luke and Sen, their transgressions, if we want to call it that, were either in the videos that were being promoted by other creators or in the exact same stream that many creators had joined. Now, with all that said, get off these people's backs. Again, let me be clear, people probably should have known what Prison Mate Luke was saying in regards to Peaches was dumb, covered that extensively, and creators should have done five seconds of research on Sen before engaging in his streams. Yes, but most of these creators have also disavowed, apologized, distanced, whatever you want to call it, they've addressed it. If a creator disavows Luke's claims, then they have disavowed it, and telling them that they secretly don't is ludicrous. If the creator apologizes for getting swept up in the drama and making mistakes rather than pretending that they didn't and implicitly endorsing loose claims, then just leave them alone. If a creator has worked with Sen because they were too blinded by whatever drama they were in to do two seconds of research on the host, that is negligence on their part, but not necessarily malice. <laughs> Look, it's my name. Sorry. Sorry. You have no idea how many times that pops up in drama, and it's funny to me every time. Should the creator simply own up to their lack of thought and admit that they just didn't look into who they were jumping on stream with, then leave them be. I don't like seeing creators dodging their involvement with a thousand excuses when a simple I didn't think slash do my due diligence, I don't agree with this person and I'm sorry would have sufficed. I also don't like seeing creators and fans in general treat one mistake of association as inherently different to another mistake of association. So here's my bit of advice. Look into someone before you jump on stream with them, and don't be afraid to disagree with someone that you've been friendly with in the past. And for the love of God, just apologize, admit you did an oopsie, and stop making so many excuses. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming of no scheduling. I do want to emphasize that the creator's acting as if they had no idea about Sen's behavior is a little bit rich to me. He wasn't exactly being shy about it, and I don't respect acting all shocked and enlightened now that it's publicly bad optics to associate with him. I'm not a big fan of being chummy chummy with someone until it's publicly no longer a good look for you. Just... And when I say that, I say that on the position of I don't respect people who pretend to be one way to get what they want, and when that no longer works for them, they act another way. Just do what you do! <laughs> of course, this doesn't apply if you genuinely don't know, and this is all shocking news to you. In which case, I would say, just, just do a little bit of research, guys. Jesus. <laughs> you do this to yourselves. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. We don't abide by snakes. But it sort of feels like the snake pit is a bit too apt of an analogy than I originally realized when I made the parody art of that movie. Which brings me to my next topic. 
I'll keep this one brief because I think the Peaches drama, which has somewhat spiralled into the Creepshow drama, but also the Omnia drama, and Kai drama, and Sen drama, and somehow just a robot's- it Look, this- this drama is a fucking Hydra, and it all spawned from Toby. I can't follow this anymore. Which is exactly why I'm addressing my stance on it here and dropping it like it's hot. For those of you wondering if I still plan to make my third Peaches, uh, follow-up video. No. No, I don't. Not only has the topic been dragged to oblivion and back, it's continuing to be dragged on from what I hear. I personally want no more to do with it, I don't think I can do any more good by commenting on it further, so I won't add my voice to that pile on. That said, I will explain my mentality behind the two videos I originally made and why I'm so dejected about them now. When I made my Peaches commentary videos, I did so because I saw someone being piled on by every single voice out there without anyone giving her a fair shake. So I spoke up because I thought I could do some good and help in some way. And I won't lie, I'm fairly bitter about it now and how it all went down in the end. Because for some reason, I genuinely had hope that people would see my argument wasn't who was innocent and who was guilty, but that it was all just people being people and making mistakes, uh, being emotional, not knowing the whole story, and that you shouldn't demonize people based on which video you watched last. I'm really naive, I guess, because all those videos taught me in the end was that based on who the most popular person in the moment was would dictate what people said to me and what thought they had on any given day. But more relevant to what's going on currently, and yes, I will get to what's been happening the past couple of days, just hold on, I really put on display just how gullible and naive I can be and am, I guess. Because I talked about trust, about credibility. That was a buzzword, wasn't it? After all the different creators as of recent that have been exposed for such elaborate, pointless fucking lies, well, put the dunce hat on me, I earned it. I just really thought that there was more integrity here. <sighs> yeah, I, I can hear the I can hear the dumbassery in that statement as it leaves my mouth. Another creator recently asked me what my thoughts on how to improve the community were. Uh, they're actually working on their own video about it, so I won't step on their toes too much here. Uh, but I will say this: the core problem with all of this, from my perspective, is integrity and the severe fucking lack of it. Everyone is clambering to climb over one another, to put on a mask, to be perfect in every situation, and all it does is make it so much worse when we all come tumbling down together. Honesty, integrity, creativity, community, just having fun rather than seeking personal gain, these were the things that I valued in YouTube and YouTubers when I was a child. And I think it's about time I grew up a little bit more. Anyway, I'll save my thoughts about fixing things for that other creator's video. I don't want to speak over them before they even get a chance to say their piece. I'm going to try really hard to rally for the other creator's videos that I'm briefly popping up in. I, I don't want to depress kids on other people's channels. We could be depressed on my channel. Fuck it. That's new motto. Depression wins. No, I'm sorry. Ignore me. This is why we need scripts. And with that awkward closer, let's get on to the big one, the currently relevant topic about being wrong. I've said this before and I'll say it again, I've been wrong and I'll be wrong again, and there's a good to high chance I have already been wrong a few times in this video that I just don't know about yet. It's inevitable. It's part of being a creator. It is part of being a person. It is a part of being alive. We are all inherently fuck-ups spinning on a rock around the sun. That is what we are. But it seems like everyone is so afraid of being wrong, they're willing to make mental backflips across the snowy mountains just to avoid admitting as much. Let's think about John Swan and how he decimated his career over a simple, stupid lie, or Dream, who more recently admitted to cheating at a speedrun or whatever. And he had to use every excuse under the sun to explain why really he wasn't at fault. Or even the creators making their excuses about Sen and Luke to the point it was more or less sounding like they didn't believe they had made a mistake in the first place. Like, guys, just admit you were wrong. Look, I'll do it right now. I'll do it. Here's a demonstration for you all. I'm gonna blow your fucking minds. I was wrong about Camilla Cuevas. Still don't know if that's how I say her name, by the way. In my Peaches video. I was wrong about her trustworthiness. I was wrong about how things panned out between her and Peaches. Now here's my excuse. I didn't have all the facts. That's it. That's that's my excuse list. 
That's my only excuse. Not that I was in a dark place, not that I was misled, not that the stars happened to fucking align and made me trip on my face. I was just wrong. I made a mistake. And I'm sorry. I can only do better next time. Alright, let's get another one. Let's get a more relatable day-to-day -day one, maybe. Let's keep this fucking shame train rolling. I forgot I had a game date with a friend. We said we'd play. I forgot. And we didn't play. I hurt their feelings by being thoughtless. And when they told me as such, you know what I did? I said, fuck, I'm sorry. That was shitty of me. I didn't mean to hurt you. How can I make it up to you? I didn't give them a long-winded spiel about how busy I am or that hackers broke into my room and I couldn't log on. They are playing Uno on my desktop. I couldn't do anything. I just accepted that I fucked up and apologized. And you know what happened? We set another game date and it was fucking fun. It's that simple, guys. More and more, it seems like an apology in YouTube terms really means here's a list of reasons why it wasn't my fault, or that it wasn't that bad, or that somehow, actually no, it's your fault for not thinking about my situation. It's a cover up, an excuse, a lie, or some way to make the person that's meant to be apologizing look like the injured party. I don't know who needs to hear this. I certainly did once upon a time, but you fucked up and it was your fault. But that's okay. Everyone fucks up. You aren't going to be crippled by this and people can forgive you. You just have to be honest with yourself. How did you mess up? Were you too hasty, thoughtless, angry? Was that argument you had really so black and white? And if it was, are you sure you were the one in the right? How is the other person feeling? Did you do that? Does it upset you that you did that? Just think. And remember that you're not always going to be the hero. Sometimes you're just the person on the side that made a mistake and now you gotta make amends. I understand that creators are held to greater standards. I understand that they're under greater pressure and receive unfair attacks and insults regularly that come dressed up as criticism among genuine critique and it makes it hard to figure out who is actually there to give you helpful constructive criticism and who is there just to beat you down. I do understand this. I understand the impulse to defend yourself blindly. I have made that mistake too. It's a very common one. That's why I'm saying this now. <laughs> Maybe I'll need to hear it again myself one day. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to just apologize rather than justify. If you need to explain yourself, fine, that's great. If you feel the need to defend yourself, good, stand up for yourself. But sometimes you need to just accept responsibility and apologize, okay? And for the love of God, find your integrity. A couple of you have fucking dropped it somewhere in YouTube's algorithms while you're hunting for relevancy. All right, I guess I can't avoid this one any longer. I am gonna briefly address the most recent art commentary disaster, but I'm not gonna be making any claims, judgment calls, or even diving that deep into it. In case you haven't noticed, this video is very much just me very, very slowly processing everything. I'll link to other people's videos, maybe update the links as time goes on, just so you can find the context for this situation, by the way, because I'm not going to go into it here. To quote a bird, if you know, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ, can't believe I said that. Mostly, I wanted to say that, well, if everything surrounding Creepshow art comes out to be true, I'll have another thing to admit to being wrong about in the Peaches drama. But I want to encourage everyone to wait and not just rush in and make claims one way or the other. Because isn't that how so many of us fucked up in the past? With Slazzo, Spockta, even in more confusing, complicated dramas like Pyro or Peaches or whatever's going on with James Charles now, heaven knows I don't pay attention to that. I understand fans of Creepshow Art are feeling all kinds of things right now. Uncertainty, betrayal, hurt maybe even a bit of hope in there, and I'm right there with you. That's the shitty thing about parasocial relationships, well, one of the shitty things about them. Audiences feel betrayed when there's drama, or people that they like get called out, or a mask slips. I know for a fact if Mark Bly ever turned out to be a monster, I'd spend at least one whole day crying in bed over it. So I do understand the emotional responses of audiences, never mind the emotional toll on the creator's actual friends and other colleagues. But despite how disillusioned I am after the Peaches drama, I am going to continue to be stupid and naive for just a little bit longer and make the same plea to you that I made then. Please just think, wait, step back, process, and listen. 
Don't jump just because a commentary video told you to, only to then jump in the other direction when another one tells you different. Remember that you're an individual too, not just part of a hive mind. Now let me be extra clear, because I can already see people jumping down my throat not understanding what I'm trying to get at here. I am not telling you one way or the other if anyone here is guilty or innocent, because I honestly just do not know. I am just telling you that as someone who has very publicly thrown my support and trust behind Creepshow Art, that I fully understand how you might feel when questions about your favourite YouTuber's integrity arise. And I am still encouraging you to practice patience and thoughtfulness. Don't do something later that you might regret in the heat of the moment. Again, do as I say, not as I do. With that, I think we're done here. And you know what? I try really hard to be positive and teach all my sweet babadoodles to be better than I am and remind them to be compassionate and thoughtful and all of that jazz. And that's all true. But right here at the end of this mess of a video, let me end on a harsh sentiment that I feel in my very fucking bones. I'm not going to name names here because it's not about one person. It's, let's say, a genre of person that I am referring to. The type of person on YouTube that climbs over others' corpses, that lies and slanders and fakes and abuses others just to get a leg up in the world's stupidest race that is internet fame. I thank God that I'm not you. I feel... I f okay, hold on, hold on. Let's all, just, let's all just take a collective step back and breathe for a second. That's a, that's a teacup. Whoops. Um, I feel like I have to give you some sort of positive vibe to end out on because I listened back to that final bit and it's like, oh wow, she's just, she's, she's going off on main, kids, it's happening. Um, despite the overwhelmingly negative tone of this video, it's negative because I want things to be better, that sort of you can only go up from here mentality, right? I said a hundred times in this video that I am being naive and childish, and I definitely am. I'm sitting here being like, why can't YouTube be the way it used to be? And it never used to be like that, it's just how I remembered it. It's an illusion of the good times, the fake nostalgia for a history that doesn't exist. But having said that, I still think we can do better. And when I say we, I mean creators, but I mean the audience too. Uh, our attention spans are shrinking rapidly and everyone is just looking for the next drama, the next person to rip apart. And on the face of it, I'm not opposed to that in the sense that I don't think drama is a bad thing. But when I say that, I'm talking about, let's see, what's like an old, what's a classic drama from back in the day? Um, things like diss tracks from back, even though <laughs> most diss tracks are just awful, but you know what I mean, when people were just ragging on one another for fun, starting petty drama that didn't amount to anything, but now drama generally means like the words that YouTube won't let me say, I've sworn through this whole video, but I still don't want to say CP. <laughs> this is not monetized, but I still don't want to say it. Dramas are different now, people get very emotionally distraught and destroyed over it, creators and viewers. And I don't think anyone's having fun anymore, except maybe Keemstar, he's usually having fun, but he's like, I don't know what he, 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 he is drama, he, like, personified <laughs> drama took a squat and shout out Keemstar, that's what that is. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, I, sh I meant to end this video on, on that last note about thanking God and everything, but I didn't want to leave it on something so aggressive, so here I am rambling. I have other videos coming up that are not as heavy as this one. I promise I am going to be making a video about uh, that time I dated an incel, so haha, <laughs> have fun with that one, kids. Date is a very loose term, by the way. Alright, I have definitely stayed here too long trying to salvage whatever's left of this video, so let's just have a very quick summary. The harsh tone that I took in this video is not directed at you. Whoever is listening to this, if you're listening at this point in the rambling, that harsh tone, it's not about you. Uh, it's not about any specific person. It can't be. It's about a collective mindset. And yes, single people can contribute to it, but by and large, individual people um, aren't shitheads. <laughs> I, like to, I like to still hold on to that belief, okay? And if you've managed to get through all my rambling, I assume you're a sweet babadoodle anyway, so like, hi! Hope you're feeling well. Drink some fucking water. That's it. That's how I end it. Drink some water and stretch out your spine. I see you hunching. I see. Spine. Stretch it. Now. Water. Up. Go. We're done here. Goodbye. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, my guys.